What's going on, folks? I still haven't even pulled up the uh, chat here. Let me go ahead and get the DLive chat up here. 5 a.m. once again. I also didn't uh, mute myself here so that I'm not getting uh, double feedback here. see myself in the chat <clears throat> all right sniper Finn thank you for joining us Nicio thank you for joining us Nadraj thank you for joining us just giving people uh, an opportunity to come in here early I'm still waking up myself I'm realizing that uh, at some point I need to get like um, some sort of light in this area here so that it, uh, it doesn't look so dark uh, I could try using my cell phone light but it's just it's not powerful enough so I need to invest in something that looks a little bit better also geez my hair looks so much better before I put the headset on <coughs> morning ransomware adjusted slightly how's that look that looks fine all right what's on the agenda for today well <laughs> We are going to be doing some Quiplash too. I don't know if we're going to do that right away, just because um, it's uh, 5 a.m. here right now and I don't want to wake anybody up. But I do want to give people an opportunity to get in here before we get started with anything. We got nine people in here, so thank you to the nine of you joining us. Just got some morning. Uh, wake up music going on in the background so it's Saturday night for most of y'all right so what are y'all up to this evening <laughs> oh yeah Excuse me again. Avon, thanks for reminding me. Uh, guys, for our subscribers, um, we have three unique emojis that can now be used, or emotes as they're called on DLive. You can see uh, Avon just used all three of them. Uh, so if you become a subscriber, then you're able to use these. <laughs> All right, Sniper Finn's drinking. Rest of y'all are just chilling. That's cool. Fish is here. How's it going, Fish? Got 10 people in here now. Cool. For Quiplash 2, there was something um, really unique about it that I worked on a little bit yesterday, and uh, I think you guys are going to like it. Fish says, I did tons of chores earlier, so I wouldn't have to do them tonight so I can watch you. Well, that's awesome, man. 
It always feels good to have a productive day. Yesterday evening, I guess late afternoon, early evening, I tried um, a really hard cardiovascular workout on uh, my smartwatch. And um, uh, there, there are five levels of cardio on the watch, and this was a level five, so the hardest it could be. It was called Speed Endurance Running. And uh, it's supposed to be a 70 minute workout. Um, unfortunately, I had to tap out after 50 minutes because it was just too much. But uh, I feel like that's going to be a new goal of mine to try to make it through the entirety of that 70 minute speed endurance running. Uh, Septel Manu, I heard you got a big donation from Ghost. Was that clipped? Um, I don't think it was clipped, but you can see it on yesterday's stream still. If you uh, go to the replays, then you can find it. <clears throat> Alright, we'll give people maybe two or three more minutes to mosey on in. Then I'll have to be quiet, but we can go ahead and turn on some Quiplash 2. I just won't be able to laugh along quite as much since it's still very early here. Is it quip all night? Um, you know, I don't really know. I think quiplash for like three hours straight would probably get old after a while. But, you know, if, uh, if quiplash does start to get a little stale, then we can move on to something else. To try to wake myself up a little bit, I'm actually drinking ice cold water right now. It has been incredibly warm this week in Korea. It started to mellow out in the last couple of days, but wow. One thing actually I noticed as I was playing um, Red Dead Online is I would look at the temperature that it is when you're out in the middle of the desert and it's like the middle of the day. And it would actually be hotter here in Korea than it was in the game. So it'd be like, oh, it's, um, it's 30 degrees Celsius. I'd be like, oh, you lucky bastard. Avon, how many uh, questions are you asked per round? I have no idea. I haven't played it yet. Alright. I think we pretty much have everybody in here who uh, planned on joining us early. So we'll set that aside for a minute. Let's uh, switch screens here. And we'll pull out Quiplash 2. There we go. <coughs> and once again, let me move this over so I can see what y'all are saying. Whoa, Nisio! Thank you for the subscription, man. Now we have four subscribers, and the subscriber bar will update uh, in its own time. Unfortunately, it has a habit of not updating right away. But sweet, now we got four subscribers. We are one subscriber away from the first goal, the five subscriber goal. That's awesome, man. Thank you so much. <laughs> this is what birthday money does. <laughs> well, I appreciate it, man. Just pulling up the website here. the the um, 
website name and the code. Man, I really am tired. Alright, so I'm thinking first round we'll just play uh, whatever the regular round is. And then maybe after a round or two of excuse me, a round or two of that, then I've got something a little bit special planned. Uh, Fish, it was Quiplash 1 yesterday, and now we're doing Quiplash 2. Alright, so we got five in here. Six. A couple of more seconds for anybody else who wants to come in. Alright, we'll say everybody's in. So let's see what Whiplash 2 is all about. The Say Anything Party okay, Game. Okay, I'm Schmitty, and we're gonna play Whiplash. You know, it's not too often I see a group like this, thankfully. <laughs> this is round one. Two prompts will appear on your device, which you can answer in any clever or not clever way you want. Everyone will choose between your answer and someone else's, and decide who wins. You get points based on the percentage of people who like your answer, and a bonus if you get more votes than your opponent. Go! Let's see what we got. Prompt number one is an automobile feature only the French would have. Okay, choose your favorite. Ho ho ho, uh, croissant dispenser or my creams and unguents. <laughs> that was a safety quip. <laughs> what does that mean? It makes the answer for you? All right, first one right out of the gate is a quiplash. Next on the list, a surprising find at Bill Clinton's garage sale. A good drink or dress Go stain away. remover. <laughs> Somebody's not voting. There we go. 50-50, huh? Your next prompt is... The weirdest gift you could give somebody is a pillow with blank on it. Caesar or a little girl from middle school. Ugh. That is weird. Spider-Sense never warns him about. His not paid student loan or Black Cat's sexy ass. <laughs> 
Nadraj, you and I are saving each other here. Next prompt. The one thing you wouldn't mind holding between your butt cheeks for Oh boy. A potato the size of Russia, a poop face plush. <laughs> That'd be funny for the meme. Fifty-fifty. Next, how do you seduce a bear? No joke, just bear it's with it. You hold time. his bear. I don't know. I'm not a fan of either of those. <clears throat> I guess I'll vote just because I don't want people to wait. 50-50. That's it for round one. Let's bring up the scoreboard. Two is upon us, and all points are doubled. Take that, round one. Two more, we got 30 seconds. <clears throat> NASCAR sponsor you could see painted on a car. Brunch Buddies Hooters. Okay, vote for your favorite. Hmm. Not one surprise me with Hooters. I don't know what Brunch Buddies is. Wow, the safety quip worked. Up next, you get the weirdest image results. Oh when you no! Blank. A curry and Yuri Ready, on set, ice. Vote. <laughs> Yuri on ice, I can confirm. Subway, it's polite to give up your seat to blank. Paraplegic lap dancers oh, or the guy with the the guys with the tuberculosis uh I guess yeah, tuberculosis. So Red Dead 2 reference.
Either that or it's supposed to be tuberculos, which, uh... I think if we were speaking Spanish would be incredibly offensive. Probably called having sex. Making children of freedom oh, fuzzy no. time. <laughs> fuzzy dice was a safety, wasn't it? That's really tripping me up. Uh, that uh, coin noise, because that's the same noise that I use for uh, when somebody gives me a lemon. Yep, I knew that was a safety quip. But the audience saved it. Next in the hopper, a good line for breaking the tension at a fish funeral. Well, at least, okay. at least he wasn't really shellfish, or he was a good simp. <laughs> Y'all didn't get that joke? Wow. Coming up next, first draft movie line, frankly my dear, I blank. And vote. Man, I can't believe y'all didn't get that. That's disappointing. <laughs> Round two's done. Let's see who's winning now. is round three, the last lash. Everyone's taking aim at the same prompt this time. Complete this word lash task. Soak it in. You All get right. three medals to award to your top three quips. Give out your gold, silver, and bronze medals now. Tainted Hooter Collector, Tainted Knife Play, I Have a Taint on My Ass, Touch It, Tits a Nick, uh, Tainted Titties, Rub My Taint and Tell Me You Love Me. All right.
Brace yourselves, here come those medals. Bronze. Show me the silver. And the gold. Medals are nice, but points are even nicer, so... All right. All right, that's it. Time for the final scores. All right, that did something for me. I am so disappointed in y'all for not getting that fish joke. Wow. I can't believe that just went right over all y'all's heads. Alright, so that's fun. It's, uh, it's Quiplash with a few upgrades. I can dig it. So, let's see. Let me get the thing set up here. This time we got six, seven. Are we going to have an eighth player? Well, in any case, we're going to do something a little bit different this time. So I mentioned that in Quiplash 2, you're able to make your own uh, questions, like your own questions episode. I made an episode called DDLC. It has 32 questions. Um, the, the maximum is 64. I don't know if you need all 64 to make a full episode, but let's see. Let's see what happens with a make your own episode. So these are all DDLC related questions. Time for Quiplash. Okay, let's move this along. I'm sure I'm missing something very exciting on Snapchat. <laughs> Time for round one. The more people who vote for your answer, the better your score. Let's go. Audience members, instead of just waiting around while the players type, try the audience play along. Time's running out. Use a safety quip if you need it. All right, 10 seconds. And... All right, time's up. Okay, moment of truth. Up first... Monica After Story just released an update allowing okay, Monica to blank at random. <laughs> Spread COVID or fart. Fart's a little too on the nose. And 
next is... Where did Sayori get the rope she hung herself with? Chocoholics from her drug dealers, Caesar's parents' mom. Hmm, neither of these are home runs. My parents' mom. So, like, my grandmother? That was a safety quip. Next up. Dan Salvato has just announced a new feature in ZDLC allowing the player to blank <clears throat> on command. Make the girls strip or slap Natsuki. what I expected. Next one. Sayori was voted by her class most likely to blank. Hang the Halloween decorations. Alright, free 1,000 points for ransom there. Moving on. The real reason Sayori doesn't get fat from eating so many oh, sweets. She is an immortal god of sugar or she bought her metabolism from Satan. Wow, I didn't expect that. Next on deck. Say we're depressed, Yuri self harms, Ready, Natsuki's set, abused, and Monica's and Monica is God complexing or wants your D. Oh, Charles, thanks for the follow, man. Yeah, I, um... I, um, had to reset the chat because it wasn't moving for some reason. So, yeah, let me, uh, hold on. Let me scroll up a little bit and see what I missed here. Uh, Mast Robot, thanks for the follow. Uh, Z Booster, thanks for the lemon. And, yeah, Charles, thanks for the follow. That's as far back as I can go. Because, yeah, my chat was frozen for some reason. Sorry about that, guys. That's all for round one. Here's the scoreboard. Time for round two. Everything is worth double, twice as much. Audience members, while players are typing in their answers, try the audience play along.
<clears throat> All right. Thirty seconds. Twenty seconds. Almost out of time. Use the safety quip button if you have to. Ten seconds. All right, here we go. Time to share. Number one on the list. What's Monica's spirit animal? A hyena, a majestic okay, Karen, in its natural right habitat. <laughs> That's good. Somebody's not voting. Your next prompt is... What would Donald Trump say after playing DDLC? I need a great wall on my screen. Build a wall around Monica. Nah. Both of those are too on the nose. Book is Yuri's Guilty Pleasure. Vote now. Del Delphine's Autobiography or Fifty Shades of Silver, aka How to Sharpen Blade. about what I expected. Next up. Which manga is MC most likely to read? Oh, Yuri of hey. Yuri, Organic Denture Adhesive. I feel like that was a safety quip. the DDLC community is so okay, toxic vote. because of the thought they just want another part of DDLC from Dan live-action DDLC movie who should play MC, Ready, set, Justin vote. Bieber or Tom Cruise's mom. Whiplash. Well done, Manu. And next. 
MatPat is making a Game Theory episode claiming Natsuki's dad is actually uh, the reincarnation of Jesua. I'm assuming that means Jesus. And uh, prescription shoes. I'm guessing that was a safety quiplash. Yep. <laughs> Next in the hopper? What will Natsuki do for a living after she graduates? Get Become a professional fat ass or meatloaf? I'm gonna assume meatloaf was a safety quip. Although it, it kinda works. Become a professional fat ass. You know, that hits a little closer to home than you might think. I knew a girl in high school who was incredibly slender, but <clears throat> after she graduated, my god, it was... <laughs> it was unbelievable, the transformation. She got really, really big, like nobody would have guessed. Round two is through. Let's see what it did to the scores. So Manu got a pretty nice bonus there. Mm-hmm. That quiplash really bumped you up. We've made it to round three, the last lash. Focus up because you're all answering the same prompt. Complete this comic. I've got five minutes of airlift. <clears throat> what do I do? So this is not a prompt that uh, I made. I'm guessing the last lash doesn't have those. Ten seconds. Okay, here we go. Pick your medal winners now. <laughs> Shut the fuck up and pray to the simp gods. What fucking comic? Uh, let me just tune into Caesar's D Live. Spend it looking at best girl Natsuri. Hope you had Taco Bell, cause you need every fart. <laughs> Let's see where those medals went. First, the bronze. Here's the silver. And gold. Okay, let's change those medals into points. Wow. Nisio took that one. Okay, let's see those final scores. All right, Manu took that one. So now let's do another standard round, shall we? Yeah. 
Alright, anybody else joining? Give a couple more seconds for anybody else who wants to join. Alright, nobody? Alright, seven players it is. Shall we? Good looking group. Ransom, thanks for the ice cream. Here's round one. You score based on the percentage of players who like your answer. Plus, there are winner's bonuses at stake. Go! Great, let's see what we got here. The first prompt is an odd thing to find in a cave painting. Okay, select your favorite quip. An alien with an iPhone or needs more cumin? Hmm, was that a, a safety lash? Yep. Oh, quip lash. Nice. Starting out strong. Next prompt. If you want a really effective scarecrow, make sure it resembles blank. Natsuki's chest or Caesar? I knew one of them was going to be Caesar. I knew it. It's the most obvious joke that you can make. I knew somebody was going to make that joke. Mm-hmm. Next one, a weird thing for a baseball umpire to lean down and say to a catcher. Put in your vote. Want to see my balls or gas station tacos? I feel like gas station tacos was a safety quip. Yep. Quip lash. Gas station tacos. Next on the list, a terrible thing to say as a cashier scans several pairs of your new underwear. Yeah, Taco Bell is all I can afford, or my girlfriend's into some weird shit.
Yeah, that's what I expected. Both of those were pretty good. Okay, next one. A terrible reply to the text, you up? No, I'm down. No, nah, I've just been I've just fallen off a building. Mmm. section of the King James Bible, the part where Jesus blank. Nailed it. Fap to a dude. I see the subscriber bar updated finally. Your next prompt is a good way to get kicked out of a jazz band. Preferring heavy metal and become a YouTuber. Hmm. Not that those are home runs, but there is one that I like better. in the books. Let's see the scores. All right. Yeah, those two quip lashes. I knew I was going to be either first or second. station with double the points and bonuses. All right, here we go. Running out, think fast or use a safety quip. Ten seconds. All right, here we go. Let's see those quips. Our first prompt is what not to say to a date while you're on a paddle boat. Okay, voting time. Pick your favorite. You ever get kinky with that paddle, or am I getting you wet? yourself on Jeopardy. And I don't even oh. fucking know re act like Yuri and fuck up your answer. Well, at least that one's actually an answer. Yeah. 
And next, the title of a sitcom starring an otter. The otter, Mater Pia, Only Fools and Otters. Hmm. Next one, you know your house is too big when you have a room specifically for blank. A Danny DeVito shrine, summon devices. demons. <laughs> Next in the hopper, the name of a nursery rhyme that's guaranteed to give your kid nightmares. Miss Grimshaw, Pistols okay, at Dawn. Vote. Hmm. I feel like Miss Grimshaw is more likely to actually be the name of a nursery rhyme. Oh, that was a safety. Next in line, there will be blood to blank. Twerking Put in your votes. or la. I'm not big on either of those. Safety one. Moving on. What word should never be followed by an exclamation mark? Shoot or nipples. That's what I expected. That's all for round two. Let's see where the points went. Oh, I am just behind him. 60 points behind. And now round three, the last lash. This time you'll all be answering the same prompt. Equip using these word lash rules. A music group with the word pork in its name. Ten seconds. Five seconds. Oh, right on time. 
pork, porky porker and the porkers, jazzers and the pork, pork the poultry, the lady porking super chads, porky pigs, k pork lovers, pork licking bacon sluts. Okay, who's taking home some medals? Bronze. Silver. And now the gold. Let's sell off those medals for points. Up, uh, alright. Uh, unless Ransom is in third place, Naifu Waifu won. And we're finished. Show me those final scores. Alright, Naifu took it. I maintained my 60 point, uh, my 60 point follow. So that was a close game. All right, nice. So we've been streaming for about an hour, guys. So we're gonna take a quick intermission just so everybody can get a breather. And after about 10 minutes or so, we will return. So just give me a moment here. Uh, okay. There. Uh, yeah, this should be good. Sorry, in the DLive chat um, window that I have here, it had the game up for some reason. In the game window, yeah, it should look like this. But in the chat window, it should be just me right here. <laughs> anyway. I'm glad that y'all were vibing so much on that music. It is good music. Anyway. So, let's go ahead and get back to some Quiplash, shall we? Let me pull up the uh, game back here. And... I saw a couple of people that were asking if we can do another round of DDLC. So, uh, I guess we'll do that. Let me go ahead and pull it up here. Oh, hold on. One thing I just realized, I need to turn the sound back on. I turned the sound down so that y'all could hear the music. Here we go. No, I didn't call Jackbox DDLC. I was referring to the uh, DDLC series that I made, uh, the DDLC questions that I made for uh, Quiplash. All right, do we have an eighth player? <clears throat> and yep, we have eight. Here we go. Hmm. I'm just checking my mic sensitivity and making sure I'm not overclipping here. Schmitty here with your daily dose of Quiplash, use as directed. Okay, fair warning. I reserve the right to repurpose your quips for my improv set later on tonight. This is round one. You'll score points based on the percentage of people who prefer your answer. Have at it. Here we go. While the players enter their quips, audience members can try the audience play along on their devices. Hmm. 
Time's running out. Use a safety quip if you need it. Oh man, just in time. Let's see what Alright, here we go. First one. What is the real reason the DDLC community is so okay, toxic? Use your device to There's only one Caesar to go around. This is a bit of deja vu, don't you think? Manga is MC most likely to read Attack on North Korean Prison High School DXD. Yeah, some of these might be repeat questions from last time, but there's only 32 to choose from. So hopefully we'll see some new ones. <laughs> Next up. After Caesar completes the meta series, he's most likely going to dedicate his YouTube channel to <laughs> Oh, we got a jinx. Oh damn. Next on the list. What's the first thing a curry will do after she destroys everything? Play with Caesar's pen collection, upload victory photos to the gram, ooh woo. Audience leans to the left. Moving on. If Yuri didn't stab herself after MC accepted her confession, what would they have done on their first date? Stabbed a homeless man in the park or visiting a knife museum? Bike is making a new series entitled Blank. Why the Dokis okay, hate Caesar Madrazo. Doki Doki Bedtime <laughs> Stories 18 Plus Loot. <laughs> oh, I thought he already made that series. I thought it was just called The Dokis Get Teased. Quiplash. All right. So Ransom got he got jinxed and then he got a Quiplash. 
Very nice. Coming up next. If they make a live action DDLC movie, who should play MC? Caesar's whole family at the same time, Daniel Radcliffe. <laughs> oh, I like that suggestion. Daniel Radcliffe? That would be good. I could definitely see that, actually. Daniel Radcliffe being MC. Caesar's whole family at the same time? That's just a lame answer. Mm-hmm. Yep. Honestly, that deserved to be a quiplash. Next prompt. Which book is Yuri's Guilty Pleasure? How to Lose Friends and Alienate People? Sports Illustrated Skinny Chicks Edition. Here's the scoreboard. Yeah. All right, round, round two. two where all points and bonuses are doubled. Oh, the drama. Audience members, while players are typing in their answers, try the audience play along. out of time. Use the safety quip button if you have to. Alright, here we go. Time for the big reveal. First up... Dan Sabato has just announced a new feature in DDLC allowing the player to blank on command. Erase Natsuki or squish anime titties? Good lord. I feel like one of those is more likely for Dan Salvato to do. Almost 50 50. And next. We had Natsuki as a trap. Next, here comes Blank is a blank. Caesar is an e boy. Sayori is actually a cinnamon roll, not a bun. Ever since I saw that Unis Honest video about E-Boys, I don't know. Really weird vibe off of those guys. Kind of like some weird, uh... Like, K-pop idol shit going on there. Almost a Quiplash. Next on deck... 
To protect herself from her father, Natsuki should try calling Buff Suki, making a repellent out of used tampons. Split. And next is what kind of pet would Yuri have? Siberian Husky, cat to have an excuse for the scars. Hmm. That's a clever idea. Quiplash! So Ransom got uh, Quiplash in round one and round two, so he's looking good. Dan Salvato's next jab at, uh, at all the weeaboos will involve one of the girls doing what? Bending over to pick up a used pen. <laughs> My best collection, I'm guessing that was a safety. <laughs> yep, that was a safety. Another quiplash. Next on the list. Monica After Story just released an update allowing Monica to blank at random. Become a Futa? Hmm. Well, yeah, illegal. The safety is supposed to be like a last resort. Yeah, that's what that deserves. Repeat answers are not good. Yeah, spread COVID was crap because that's what was answered last time. What would Donald Trump say after playing DDLC? Fake news. I knew San uh, Dan Salvato very well. He's a great guy. <laughs> Both of those are great, but yeah. That's actually pretty similar to what I would have answered. I'm not going to say it, just in case we play again and I get this question. You could just see that. I know Dan Salvato very well. He's a great guy. One of the best. He's doing good stuff. He's going to be a big game developer one day. I'm telling you. Huge. What's the explanation for Yuri having two left feet? Because she's never right, or Salvato is one sick, sick fuck. For round two, let's check the scores. Hmm. Round
round three, the last lash. Everybody's getting the same prompt, so don't hold back. Comic lash. Fill in this comic. Give us one good reason we shouldn't run you out of town. Ten seconds. Mm. Time to give out those medals. All right. I saved all the dokies and had a curry's titties. I have leaks to Den Salvato's new game. Um, I have a big thick boner. I have thirty thousand Instagram followers. I am the core to everything. Nisio's blocking it, and because I have an electric personality. Oh, I am the cure to everything. Okay, let's bring out those medals. Bronze. Bring out the silver. And finally, gold. Great. Let me just turn those medals into points for you. Hey. That's all. Now for the final scores. All right, Ransom took that one. All right. So for the next round, I vote just another normal round again. All right, Nisio, you're heading out. All right, see ya. Whoa, thanks for the three ice cream, Nisio. Is this going to be a five-man game? Six. All right, guess this is a six-man game. Welcome to Quiplash. I'm Schmitty, your host with the moist. I may have the missed moist. Red Sand, 
A mysterious old woman told me I'd meet a group of strangers who would change my life. So keep an eye out for those guys. In the meantime, why don't we play? This is round one. The more folks who choose your answer, the more points you get. Go. Hurry up! Use a safety quip if you can't think of anything. Twelve seconds. Ah, come on, illegal. No answer from illegal. The man who hates it when people don't answer. Us off, a super elite underground club at Yale that nobody knows about. BDSM, okay, Boys Doing Smart board Moves, board. or Fight Club. head would be opening your eyes to a blank a curry paralysis demon or gary Busey? <laughs> was that illegal who wrote that one yep i knew it Oh yes, oh fuck yes, damn that's kinky. <laughs> they both went the same direction. Are you arthritis? Because you make me stiff. Alexander Brawl, thanks for the follow. And thanks for the free points, illegal. Next in line. You can donate me some money I can't afford to buy Fall Guys. Here's the link. Uh, no thanks. Alright, something creepy to hear a kid say. Don't come to school tomorrow. Uh, maps are my favorite. God. Alright, a left got a quiplash. Moving on. A sign you got a bad nose job. Not smelling it, or there's loads of jizz in it. Ah. I think that's Naifu Waifu's answer, isn't it? Oh no. It was Fish's answer.
Round one's done. Let's see who's in the lead. Cool. Round two time, and to make it interesting, I'm doubling all the point <laughs> Yeah, I'm with a left on that one. <laughs> Jizz, so funny. Locks running out. Think fast or use a safety clip. Okay, it's time for some quip lashing. Starting things off, a terrible thing to announce on your first day in jail. I have no teeth and a weak gag reflex. I raped a kid. Yeah, yeah, both of those are pretty bad. Next on the list, what movie title best describes the state of your butt right now? The TSA Holiday Party, Backdoor Slut Strap-Ons Welcome. Okay, um... I'm gonna say Illegal and either uh, Fish or Naifu Waifu. Oh no. The TSA holiday party surprisingly kind of worked. Moving on. A line in the Canadian national anthem, probably. Where the moose go moo, you syrup with everything or get a currified? Mm, neither of those are good. advice never trust blank put in your votes women with three dead husbands or a map kids Hey, Quiplash! And next is... A reenactor at Colonial Williamsburg would get suspended if they said blank. This reenactment is cancelled due to COVID-19. Uh, can you hear me now on their cell phone?
Okay, next one. In the future, America will change its name to blank. Trumpville, Shooty okay. Shooterville, oh fuck, we're all dead. Hmm. Neither of those are good. Round two, light up that scoreboard. Damn, I have a twenty nine fifty lead right now. Feeling pretty confident so about victory three, here. The last lash, one final chance to catch up, and everyone gets the same prompt this time. Comic lash. Finish the comic. What did you order for your last meal? We're ready. Let's give out some medals. Half-Life 3 disc sandwich. D's nuts. 50 habanero peppers and a kick to the balls. Your mom's pussy with a side of electricity. I had your mom last night, nice woman. A curry's milk. Ended up. Bronze first. Here's the silver. And gold. Now we transform those medals into points. That's the game. Let's see the final scores. I won. Alright guys, I'm going to take another brief intermission. Here, let me turn down the volume here. Get the ambiance going that y'all guys liked last time. Alright, see you guys soon.
What's up, folks? Alright, so for those of y'all that are still here, I'm thinking maybe we can play one more game. Then, I think I'm gonna head out. Just because, since all we're doing is Quiplash, I don't want, you know, the game to get too stale too quickly. So, I'm thinking maybe one more round, and then we can call it a game. Mm-hmm. Fish, you didn't think I read the chat? Alright, is this going to be a six-person game? Alright. Hey there, I'm Schmitty. You might remember me as the host of Quiplash. Or maybe you just blocked me out. The great thing about a fresh game is that right now, you're all tied for first place. And last. <laughs> Round one. You'll score points based on the percentage of people who prefer your answer. Have at it. Hurry, hit the safety quit button if you can't think of something. Come on, fish. Ah, fish didn't answer. Okay, I hope you all made me proud. First off, the title of a musical you're glad doesn't exist. Fortnite and the Seven okay, Kids, Scream O' Lion King. <laughs> Both of those are good. Yeah, that's fair enough. Your next prompt is Alfred may know Batman's secret identity, but the biggest secret he keeps is blank. The bat fleshlight inside the bat dungeon, or he is James Charles's dad.
50-50. Next up. New rule, you should automatically be arrested if you blank. Make a Caesar pun and quiplash or don't like Hawaiian pizza. Hell yes. Fish, you just said that you need to be arrested. Next on deck, the name of a fast food restaurant where the workers don't wear pants. Caesar's ASMR Pizza Club or no answer from Fish. Next one, if the Pied Piper really wanted to impress us, he'd get blank to follow him. Cats, more peas on his pipe? Uh, neither of those are good. Wieners? Well, what if the employees are female? Pumpkin spice flavored icing or white cream? Uh, don't girls. Uh, illegal, I think we need to send you back to uh, sixth grade sex ed class. I think there's a few gaps in your understanding of how uh, anatomy works. That's round one. Let's see how the scores shook out. Fourth place. Round two is here, so let's double the points and bonuses, shall we? Left, you're gonna send him a link to meat, uh, meat spin. But, by the way, illegal, you got 13 seconds. All right, let's get to it. Our first prompt is a new slogan for the Greyhound Bus Company. Keeps walk, keep walking, asshole. If the dog eats your baby, it's your fault. Fifty-fifty. Next in the hopper, a bouncy castle is cool, but a bouncy blank is just sad. Anime girl hentai castle or Natsuki's balls? Oh, my God. 
coming up next, what a mopey mule would say. Ready, set, vote. Caesar doesn't love me anymore. Take me back, dog shampoo. feeling that was a safety. Next in line, what's the boogeyman's part-time job? Get to voting. Make a fan only? You mean an OnlyFans? Starring in shitty horror movies. spend your first day as U.S. President. The Facts of Life theme it's song making time. fast food the fourth emergency service. <laughs> That's good. I like that. I'm guessing this is a safety. Yep. Up next, the worst title for a rap song. Neighbors with Attitudes, Time Rap God up. Theme Master God Song. I expected somebody to make a Jake Paul joke in there. Round two. Let's see if your scores did. Damn. All right, fish took it. It's round three, the last lash. I've got one prompt left, and you're all getting it. Comic lash. Complete the comic. truth award your medals all right well Richard Simmons does them for free yes it's done with Natsuri's dick yeah we get a simp to suck your gaping ass Ugh. yeah sell your organs all of them turn back and cough could cough and let me put two hands on your shoulders
Okay, everyone, let's see who got those medals. First, the bronze. Silver. And gold. Let's see what the medals to points exchange rate is these days. It's over. Let's see the final scores. Damn, I went down? Hmm. Well, all right. Fish took the final round. Well, guys, as I said, that's going to do it for me this time since Quiplash is the only thing that we were doing this morning. But it was a blast playing with you guys. I think this new version of Quiplash is pretty awesome. So um, that'll do it for this stream, guys. And I will see you guys later. Until next time, I'm Cesar Madrazo, and I'm out.